Hey, Facebook friends. It is uh, Tuesday afternoon and uh, second week of Advent. Uh, I'm thankful that you're uh, checking in with me. We've been uh, kind of looking at this subject. Did we, you know, did we see it coming? Uh, you know, we look back and we know from the biblical stories that uh, most of the folks didn't uh, didn't recognize Jesus at the time of his birth in in the world, and we look back and we think, well, maybe we would have seen it, maybe we would have prepared better. Uh, but the truth is, we probably wouldn't. Uh, I'm thankful uh, that we we have uh, all on our on our cell phones at home. Uh, we all have an app called Life 360. Maybe you have it too. Life 360 is one of those apps that you know you plug in your family group, and everybody with a phone it gives you uh, it gives you a constant location. So I can. Uh, you know, pull up Life 360. I can see where my daughter is. I can see where my wife is, uh, and they can see where I am. And if we, uh, you know, are trying to hunt for one another at different points, or wonder who's, you know, are you on the way home yet? It's a great thing. One of the ways I use it, I, I hate to admit it, is if I'm left home alone, or if the kids and I are home alone, and and Patty's gone out, and maybe she's left us with a list of things to do right while she's gone. Uh, maybe it's uh, just straighten up the living room. Maybe it's uh, clear the counters, or maybe it's uh, you know empty the dishwasher and reload it. And uh, so you can kind of do your own thing for a while, but check Life 360 every now and then and see if well see if she's on their way back home. And if if she's on the way back, then you know you well you better hop up and you better get all those things done uh, really quick before <laughs> before everybody's back at the house. Um, that that reminds me when, when we think about whether Jesus is coming, whether we would have missed his coming the first time. We know this. We know from Scripture that he'll come again. That he'll come again. We might have missed his coming the first time. Uh, we might not have seen the signs. But let's be ready for when he comes the next time, which will be the last time. Jesus says this in Luke's gospel. He says, uh, it'll be good for those servants whose master finds them ready, even if he comes in the middle of the night or toward daybreak. The servant who knows the master's will, the servant who knows the master's will and does not get ready or does not do what the master wants, well, will be beaten with many blows. Part of that parable, part of that story. But here's the point. If we know God's will, if we know the will of Jesus uh, in our lives individually or our lives corporately as a, as a body, and we don't do it and we don't get it done, I, I mean, we don't have anything to check like Life 360 to know when Jesus is on his way back. But friends, let's do this. While, while you know his will, do his will. While you love what he loves, do what he does. Uh, you know, Live life in line with uh, his purposes and his promises. Uh, and then I don't think we'll be disappointed. I don't think anybody would be disappointed uh, if, we're, if we're right with him when he comes back. Let's pause there and pray together. Father, thank you for the promise that uh, Jesus has come and brings life and light into our world. Uh, thank you, too, for the promise that he'll return and bring everything to perfect order. Uh, Father, may our hearts and our minds and our actions be uh, ready uh, for that moment. May we continue to obey him while we wait for him. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for checking in this afternoon. Judy, good to see you checking in. Uh, we'll see you all soon.